Everyone, so in this video, I'm going to check this cable. I have a red cable here. It's a LAN cable, uh, two separate cables. And uh, this cable basically is uh, implemented as crossover cable according to the wire map that you see here with this cable tester. I'm using the cable tester to test the, the wire map. You see pin one connects to pin three, pin two connects to pin six, pin uh, three to pin one, and pin six to pin two. So this is basically uh, a crossover cable. Uh, that 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 is implemented in this uh, uh, that is implemented. Now with the green cable, uh, the green cable that we have, uh, this cable is uh, implemented as a straight throw cable. Uh, how do you recognize a straight throw cable? According to the wire map displayed by the cable tester, as you see here, pin one connects to pin one, pin two to pin two, pin three to three, four to four, five to five, six to six, seven to seven, eight to eight. So this is a straight throw cable where each pin at one end of the cable connects to the same pin number at the other end of the cable. Now uh, I show you a Cisco switch, catalyst switch, model 2950. This is model 2950. Uh, this is an old switch basically. And I'm connecting this switch to same to another switch, same model, Cisco Catalyst 2950. 2950. Connection between the two switches uh, is done using a crossover cable that I showed you earlier. So this is a crossover cable and according to the uh, port, LED port, the LED uh, related to the port. It seems that it, it looks like the cable or the uh, connection between the two switch is established. So the cable, the LED is green, connection is okay. So you can establish connection between computers connected to this switch with computers connected to the other switch, provided of course that the uh, computers belong to the same VLAN. So there is no problem. Or you can configure this uh, cable as a trunk link between the two switches, so there is no issue here. Connectivity between the two switch is uh, is up and it's working perfectly. Now I have changed the cable, so I use a straight throw cable to connect between this switch catalyst 2950 that I used previously with the other switch catalyst 950. And uh, this is the green cable, you remember, this is a straight throw cable, and what you notice the connection is down, so there is no connection. The port are not, is not active here as well as on the other side. So, in this situation, connection doesn't work. Why is it so? First, Catalyst 2950, Cisco switch, Catalyst 2950 is an old switch. The port of the switch do not support automatic detection of the cable type. That's why I'm using a straight throw cable, things don't work. Uh, and, uh, of course, this is a big issue with these old switches. So, if you want to connect between these switches, you have to use a crossover cable. So crossover cable is a cable used to connect two devices of the same type. So you want to connect two computers, you want to connect two uh, switches, so you have to use a crossover cable. Now, in this situation, I am using uh, the cable, the green cable, which is a straight throw cable, and it looks like the connection is down, it's not working, even the LEDs are not, uh, are not working, are not operational. Now, let's see what happens with another pair of switches. I'm using here the Catalyst 2960 Cisco switch. And you notice I am uh, connecting this uh, Catalyst. Uh, I have to change here. Okay, so I am connecting this uh, Catalyst switch 2960 uh, with another switch. Model of the switch is 3560. This is 3560. This is layer 3 switch as well uh, as layer 2 switch, of course. And I'm connecting between these two switches using the straight throw cable. So you notice now that between the two switches bet uh, that the ports are, are active. So the green color is coming now. Uh, green color shows that the link or the connection between the two switches is active and the uh, two switches are perfectly uh, connected to each other. Although I am using a straight row cable. Why does this work? Because this uh, switch, starting from the 2960 and uh, newer switches, the ports support the automatic detection of the cable type. Although I am using a uh, straight row cable, you notice that connection is there. LED is green color, is green. Port is active as well as on the other side. 
So the, uh, the MDI-X feature is available on the sports. Automatic detection of cable type is, uh, is there, is available. So there is no issue. So you can also use a straight through cable to connect between two PCs. Because now all the modern PCs with new network interface card that do support the automatic detection of cable type. Uh, so you don't have to use a crossover cable. A straight through cable also can be used. And since most of the time straight through cables are the most used, most available uh, everywhere, so there is no issue, you can use them to connect two PCs. You can connect your laptop to a PC directly without going through a switch. You can connect two switches together to form tracks between switches. So straight through cable is okay. Now uh, here, I, what I have done, I uh, used the uh, crossover cable to connect between the 2960 and the uh, 2950. 2950 on the other side still the connection is working fine there is no problem at all okay so the LED the port LED is uh, is green color so it shows that the port is active so everything works fine